Copper wiring is the new target for thieves, according to De Quincey police detectives. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barry Lowen. Jade Morrow explains how not to be a soft target. Now right now in the parish alone, and if you add Bull Guard, you're probably looking at over 100 copper cases this last year. It's what local authorities are calling an epidemic. Thieves cost a business near the De Quincey Industrial Air Park at least $150,000 and stolen copper wiring and damage earlier this month. The thieves drove a, a vehicle in the rear of it, went in and then pulled all the wire down. We picked up uh, some stuff for DNA. We're checking our LPRs, our cameras and stuff like that, hoping to get a better lead. It's a crime Major Jerry Bell with the De Quincey Police Department says will take dozens of hours to solve due to the crime being reported several weeks after happening and the lack of evidence, both which are common occurrences in these types of cases. A lot of time they do them at nighttime, they'll cut wires off high line poles and they disappear. They strip the wires and they take it over there and you can't tell you know, where the wire come from. With the crackdown on catalytic converter thefts, Bell says copper wiring is now the new cash cow for thieves. He says securing your belongings might keep you from being a target. If you got any building or any old house or anything like that, it behooves you to put cameras on it and lock it up because these copper thieves are out there. Jade Morrow, 7 News. The Quincy Police Department is offering a reward for any information leading to an arrest.